okay hello guys hello guys welcome 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 now if you are watching my video for the first time my name is Ezi Bechidi and what I normally do on my Facebook channel is I make videos that help you in the online space that is just what I do whether you're a writer you're a freelancer you know you're an affiliate marketer whatever it is i just make videos on trends you understand i can also what help you so if you are watching my video for the first time please i implore that you subscribe to my youtube World channel by clicking this uh, subscribe button and also like share and comment on this video so that youtube can get to show it to more what people over here you can see i have a lot of videos that can help you how to reduce plagiarism how to make use of turnitin and the rest so without wasting much of our time let us go over to the video of the day so what i'm trying to do today is that i want to show you how you can um arrange your table i need to be very very what nice now presenting table this way is somehow obsolete it is so it is not clean so i'm going to show you how you can arrange your line it's a very very what simple process once you have created your lines or on, on microsoft word just like this i believe that you know how to create all this in the microsoft word so if you don't know how to do that simply comment ezibechidi please show me how to um, uh, make tables using what microsoft word and i'm going and i'm going to make what videos and if i get uh like 20 comments i'm going to do that so i have arranged this on all right all these names they are what they are they they are not real names please they are not real names it's just for tutorial word purpose so once you have done this the first thing you need to do is just to hover your mouse on your table hover your mouse on your table now if you hover your mouse on your table you will notice that there is a plus sign here let me show us something okay when you hover your mouse you will notice that there is a plus sign over here when i hover over this uh, table there's a plus sign that is going to show here so i'm going to do that again so just click on your table as you can see that is the plus sign there now click on it when you click on it the next thing you need to do is to right click your mouse if you are using your mouse you right click if you are using your your the mouse or if you're using a standard mouse right click if you're also using the mouse of your pc or your uh or your desktop also right click so if i right click it it's going to bring options all right it's going to bring options now the options we are going to choose is what borders and what shading listen carefully i'm going to start afresh again click on your table once you're on your table click on your table now once you click on your table all right so it's going to bring out the plus sign that i showed earlier on as you can see this is it here then the next thing you need to do is to right click on it once you right click on it come over to borders and shading here borders and shading then click on it once you click on it it's going to what open now what it is showing here is that this is your table this is your table right here is your table and all these here are the lines which we are going to work all these are the lines that we are going to work remove so that is what i'm going to do quickly so once you come to this point all you need to do is just what come here if you want this line here to stay the first line here to stay leave it so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this line here that i'm holding my mouse i'm going to remove this line i'm going to remove um um, this line I'm going to remove this I'm going to remove the line here and I'm going to remove this one so that's what I'm going to what do and how do you do that it's just by simply clicking on those lines so I'm going to do that I'm going to here click on it I have removed this side then I come to the center I click on it I remove the center I come here I click on this I've removed it and then I come here, I click on this, I've removed it. Then let me click this one again and remove it. Once you're done, the next thing you need to do is to click what? Okay, leave it on the table. Don't remove anything, just leave it on the table. All right. Then once you're done, you click on what? Okay. As you can see, this is the table right now. This is the table. Okay. Now, if you want, if you don't like it this way, and maybe you want to in, in, uh, include the uh, line here and also the line here you can also what do that all right so let us also go back all right let's go back let's simply click here as well right click it 
then go to borders and shading all right now remember we want to put the uh, uh center line you can do this remove this remove this let's remove this let's remove this all right let's remove this you have to be careful if you click on it all right so let's click on okay all right as you can see if you want it this way it's beautiful it is okay this way all right so let us also go to the next table here right click on it and then go to borders and shading once you go to borders and shading if you don't want any line at all you can simply come to none and click what none all right click on what none and then click on what okay all right as you can see there is no line at all there's no line at all but i don't like my lines to be that way i just want my table to be this way this is the way i want my table to be if you're doing publication if you're sending a, um, a paper for publication or the rest of it or you are building something for someone this is the standard for you to what use all right so i don't like it to be what this way below so i'm going to change it by clicking it and then right click go to borders and shading so borders and shading i'm going to add a line all right and i'm going to add this let me click on what okay all right this is it and i'm done so guys that is just it it is as simple as what possible so try it out let me know in the comment section that you are able what to do it remember if you got value in this video subscribe to my youtube channel also share this video all right share the video and also like and comment so that youtube can be able to show this video to other people thank you